Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero one of one back again. And um, if you can't tell by the depth of my voice right now, it is early morning. Alright. Uh, so I had some thoughts um, as I'm logging in and kind of looking around right now. Uh, this is running off of coal right now. That's pretty much our primary source of power. Uh, so long as we have the nitrilizer running, right? Because that thing just eats power like crazy. So I had a thought. What if uh, I set up an IC for this and uh, made it so that way I can kind of, I don't know, fill up the whole thing with coal and just kind of like, I don't know, like run it across here or something or maybe put the entrance right there. Um, so I can just kind of chuck coal up in there and then I can see it kind of running over into there. And then just kind of fill this thing all the way up with coal and then have the IC10 run uh, or decide when this thing runs. Um, and I'm thinking we might do something like turn on if power is at 15% and then run until power is at 80% or something like that. Uh, I think that would work. So, um, I suppose the first thing I'm going to need is a bunch of the ducts or uh, shoots, I should say. So that's going to require iron and a lot of it. And then I think that's just going to be like basic shoots. So taking a bunch of those. Those are three each. So I'll be able to make 13 with just that. Turn that thing on. That'll be fine. Um, let's see. I want to see how this is doing up here. And if we're at a point to where we can. OK, so these are not taking any kind of damage. So I mean, they're fine, right? Um, I suppose I could turn this thing back on, right? For a little bit at least. There we go. So that'll get itself started back up, so that'll be good. Um, I think that should be okay. Uh, let's see. How was our... Oh yeah, our tomatoes died. I remember that. Oh, and why do I still have the, uh, the stove on? I shouldn't have the stove on right now. And then I have more than enough food right now. And plus I've got another 16 cooked tomatoes in there. So that's another three cans at least. So I think I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, temperature is staying pretty steady in here. So I'm okay with that as well. All right. Okay. So we have a stack here. And then if I do the windowed shoots, that's only going to give me like five. OK, so let me, I don't know, figure out how and where I want to do this. Um, you know, I don't necessarily need to do the window shoots all the way. So let me do like three, right? Because that's, that's going to be like, you know, at least 150 coal in there. Um, and then we'll take this up and then we'll do this part with the windows. And that way I can kind of see what, if anything, is going on here. And then uh, this, do we need this to have windows too? No, I think we'll just have these two kind of be like the, uh, you know, like if there's nothing in there, then obviously, you know, I need more. Uh, okay, so we're going to run this down. And I'm going to need more shoots, which means I'm going to need more iron. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, you guys are all still on? Okay. That's fine. Look at all of our iron in here, man. That's crazy. It's a lot. All right, so uh, what do we think? Like, like 250? So there's one, there's two, three, four, five. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. So we'll cook these up real quick. All right, so that's good. Close that up. That should be all good. I like how it puts like the name of the door on here. That's pretty cool. 
All right, so you in, you in, you in, you in, and you in. All right, now this is at zero, okay. Uh, we'll put this up to, I don't know, like 10 or something. Um, I'll just get it to like 100 kPa. We probably don't even need that much, to be honest. That's probably enough right there. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no. I just put fuel straight into our exhaust. Whoops. My bad. Okay, so that's that should be good. Light that up. And we're immediately making iron. Good. Okay, so we're at two, no, sorry, 199, and then 249. Good. All right, thank you. Okay, so we'll make some more of these, and then I think I may want to put the Or should I put it this way? I should probably put it this way. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, okay, so we'll go down this way. Down. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to do it. Thank you. And then I need the inlet. Well, no, I can do the inlet. Sorry. Yeah, I can do the inlet that way. That'll work. Okay. So we will uh, stop that for now. Thank you. And then I'll put that, I don't know, here for now. Uh, okay, so that's good there. And I'm just gonna grab a bunch of coal and throw it all in there. Uh, I suppose I probably should turn this thing off, right? All right. Do, do, do. Oh, right, I need the power on in here, okay. And then coal. Okay, so that's 250 coal. That should last us at least a little while. Um, so that'll be good. Oh, wait, no, close the door. There you go. All right. Okay, so now we can put all of this in there. Put in that little 11 in there too. Good. Okay, so now we know that we've got plenty of coal in there. All right, so now I'm going to need an IC10 in a holder, which is also gonna need power, which can plug directly into here, I suppose. Okay. Okay, so here is the IC10 chip itself. I need steel, electrum, and solder. Is there nothing in there? There's nothing in there. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, what do I have in here? Just iron, copper, silicon. I need gold, steel, electrum. Okay, well, here is our steel. Here's our gold. I think I'm gonna have to make more steel. Um, yeah, definitely have to make more steel. And then electrum and solder. So there's that. Solder. I'm going to need to make more solder, too. Okay. So uh, solder is going to be the hardest one to make. So... Because it requires, like, super low... Uh, temperature, right? So it can be no higher than 550, but it has to be over a megapascal. So, yeah, we have none of that right now. Um, let's see, what would be a way to do that? What if I were to split off 
one of these and put that in there. What would that do for us? Temperature down, pressure up, good. But I need more pressure, so. Wait, no, now the pressure is going down. That's no good. Okay, so what if I did one of these in there as well? I need like nitrice or something in there. I mean, this water ice I'm sure is fine, but. Oh, wait, no, I want you to go back in there. Sorry. If I put any oxygen in there, it's going to ignite, which is probably not going to be very good for me. Uh, do I have any nitrice available? I do not. Okay. Let's see. I think I said that there was some like right out here. Yeah. Well, let's uh, get some more nitrice. Don't tell me that's the only nitrice in here. Just that one. That's hilarious. That was the only one in here. That's that's cool. Okay. I mean, that's that's fine, I suppose, right? Right. Jetpack. All right. And we didn't make too big of a hole, so I'm kind of okay with that. We have a little bit of nitrice, which maybe could be useful, potentially, maybe. So I just need to keep the temperature down and the pressure up. So temperature is okay right now. So I just need this thing to uh, give me more pressure. Okay, that did a lot. Temperature is up too high now. Okay. <sighs> okay, so if I want to make solder, that's what equal parts um, iron and lead. Okay, that's easy enough. So we'll make like 200, I think. Okay, so silicon, copper, coal. Grab one of these. And then lead is back here, so I'll grab a couple of these. Good. Alright. Now, I also have to put this stuff in here and hope. that the pressure remains consistent and the temperature drops. And it looks like we are succeeding in that so far. Oh, no, no, oh wait, no. Temperature dropping, pressure increasing, what? Okay, that's cool. There we go, 200 solder, easy. Okay, so that can go in there, um, and then I needed to make steel. Now, okay, so steel is gonna be uh, three to one. So then 500 divided by four is 125. So I'm gonna need 125 coal. So there is Okay, 
So then if I split this one in half, okay, so there's my 125 coal, and this coal is all super damaged. Okay, and then I need to put this, actually, I had a thing I could have just thrown it back in there. Right, yeah, okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna need 375 iron. Okay, so there is 100, 200, 300, and 25. No, you missed it. Okay. There we go. So I'll take this one then. Okay, so that's one, two, three hundred and twenty-five. I need three seventy-five. Okay. Um well actually hold on. I can put the gold in here as well. Good. Excuse me, one extra spot. And then I can put the iron in there. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I guess we'll put in all of the coal first. And then if you see that it'll, uh, I guess glitch at the top right here. Um, that's what I'm waiting to uh, go away before I put in another one. All right, good. Okay, and then that is doing all of the things. And we could probably add in a little bit of fuel. Light it up. There we go. And then I think that should be enough for steel. Good. Full 500. Perfect. All right. So that's good. So there's a shit ton of steel there for you. It also thinks that I should make some electrum. Okay. Well, the game doesn't think that, I think that, but the game is showing me that I'm low on Electrum, so might as well, right? And that's going to be equal parts gold and silver. I have no gold. Well, that's not good. Wait, no, you should have gold. Why do we not? Oh, right, because that's not turned on. That makes sense. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there is that, and then I need one of these little silver things as well. That'll be good. All right. And then we'll throw that in there, throw that in there. Okay, so what does Electrum need? Uh, 800 kilopascals to 2.4 megapascals and at least 600. So am I over pressure or under pressure? I'm way over pressure. Okay. Okay, so that should be good there to make the Electrum. Excellent. All right, then I guess we can just kind of empty this thing out the rest of the way. 
let that go into our exhaust. Okay, so there's that. Uh, it's saying that I need power and water. Okay, get that done. Um, let's see. Go, good, go, all right. Okay, so with this, I can now make one of these, and I have lots and lots of stuff. I need more gold, apparently. Let me just make a few more of those. Oh, and I just emptied out all the exhaust. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I know that you're at zero, I apologize. feel better? I think we feel better. Alright, so we'll make one of these. <clears throat> I need to make the little holder for it. And then I need to find the computer. How are we doing here? I think we're doing alright. That's doing alright. Are these still going? Yep. Okay. Okay, so that is still making that. All right, good. Um, I need the uh, holder thing. There we go, the housing. Uh, I need copper. Copper? I need more copper. Okay. So that'll give me 250 copper. These are, like, just about dead. So one of the suggestions in the comments was that these are taking damage because of the fall um, as they plummet to the bottom of their respective tanks. Uh, I mean, possibly. If that's the case, that kind of sucks, but, you know. Looks like we just got too cold. All right, well, light you back up again. Call it good, right? All right, good to go. So we'll throw that in there. We'll make this little housing. And then I have to move the computer elsewhere. And then also, I want to try to capture um, all the exhaust coming out of this thing and like throw it into the our little waste tank, tank system thing. Um, because, I mean, could be useful up there, right? So we have our little tiny thing that fairly certain does not ha have a slot for it. No. It does not. Okay. So I can put, like, the housing right there or something like that. Or on the wall here, that would probably work. Actually, that would most definitely work. Wait, 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 wait. If this is all connected up in here which it is, then I could just put the coding for that in here. Right? Kind of makes sense, right? And then I would have just like an extra IC10N housing, which I can put like up there. Right? Okay. Let's 
So if I'm going to do that, all I need to do is connect that into there, and we will have all the connections made. There we go. Okay, so now I have that that can be identified up here. Let all the extra pressure out of here. Ooh, it is warm in here. Holy crap. 320 degrees in here? Can I, like, use this heat? Because, I mean, if it's going to be this hot in here, I mean, like, I might as well use it, right? Okay, so I will take that, and then we can take this apart, and then take that apart. Then all we got to do is move it. No need to print another one off. All right, good. Okay, that can go into there, and then we'll just use this little screwdriver, set it back up again, and we're good to go. Okay, so... If it can get this warm in here... I mean... That could be potentially useful, right? If I just did, I don't know, like a... Like a passive vent somehow on that wall, and just kind of run a pipe to the outside, all insulated. And then just passive over here as well. And then all I would need to do is just put like a heat exchange or something on the outside here. And then I could potentially run that up into the heat exchange, but I think that would work backwards because this is hotter than that. But I mean, if it gets hot enough in here, like that could be a thing that works potentially. Okay, so um, it is it is warm in here. So I'm going to let it continue to cool off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I want to... This is the centrifuge. Is that still in the same circuit? Is this, It is still in the same circuit. No. Oh. Well, I could have just programmed it over here then. I didn't have to move it. Dang it. I'll move it back. It's fine. Totally fine. Actually, you can just keep that there. Because, I mean, like, depending on how warm it gets in here, I mean, this is a good heat supply. So I'll just leave that closed, I guess. Okay, so let's look at the high, uh, and then we want to import, right? Yeah, okay. We can go in here, pause the game. Okay, so um, this is the main thing for the solar panels. Very, very simple. Um, and then uh, let me see, we'll just kind of... solar panels, and then down here we can do, wait, wait, I would need to have all of the batteries hooked up to this too, the data ports. Mm. So maybe I do have to do this differently. Um, okay, we'll just cancel that for now. Um, because of the way that I've got everything set up here, So I'm going to have to pull off of this side because it has all the data hookups, right? Okay, so... Okay, so then I can read the 
percentage off of each battery, add them up, try to figure out like the total, um, whatever load or whatever charge that I've got in here. And then uh, this is separated via that. So I would have to run this up this way and around, which means that this thing could not go into this part. It would have to go into this part. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with these changes so far, but I just want to make sure that I'm not messing anything up too, too terribly here. Okay, so that's still there. Good to go. All right. So that has to be plugged into this side. So that's going to be interesting. Um, do I have enough cable for that? I don't think I do. It's gonna have to go out to here, I think, and then go and turn. Yeah. And then, um, how could I do this? I could run it down uh, under here to connect there. Really? Air tank? Okay. Swap it out real quick, I guess. I suppose I could uh, swap that out too. And then that we can just kind of, that's the waste tank right here. So we'll do that, just pump that out. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's doing its thing, which is fine. Um, I'll just leave that in there, I guess. All right, so how do I want to do this? I mean, I feel like setting this to go this way would probably work out better. But I would need them to join up kind of like right here. So I don't know if that's something they can do at this point. No, I think I need another cable. Yeah, okay. But I mean, it, it works, like it should work anyways. Um, okay, so cable heavy, go. Do I have any extra heavy cable? I do not. Okay. I'll take that one, thank you. All right, so there's that. Okay, so now this is all kind of connected into here. And then I can run the IC10 housing. I could probably run it in here, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, we've got room for it, right? We have all of this stuff too. So I could power it from there and have all the data be at the bottom. That could potentially work actually. Wait, no, it's data on both sides. Wait, is that data? No, power and data and then, hmm. I don't know if this is actually going to work this way. I mean, it would be cool if it did, but um, okay, I need this. Well, actually, this can just go into there because that's where it's going to have to go anyways. And uh, this can go there. And that should give me power. Okay. And then all of the control stuff, can I can put that on the bottom. Now, I don't know if I need both the top and the bottom for data, or if that even works like that. I don't know. All right, what do we have for cable? We have 26 heavy cable. That's actually, that should be pretty good. All right, and then this needs to go 
like that, and like that. Now, I, like I said, I don't know if this will work, but all of the data ports are now connected over here. And then, I mean, the drills are also connected here, but that's the only other thing kind of on this part of the system. Um, and then, I suppose, we can grab this, and then as I'm running with those things, they're slamming me in the face, which is not great. Okay, so there's that. And you can get torn apart, and then torn apart again. Okay, so if that's good there, then I need to find a way to plug this in to our system over here, which I could actually do right here. Um, no, that's the door. I don't need the door. I need the computer. I already have the computer. Okay. Okay, can you spin towards me, please? Thank you. So there's that. Um, now we should be able to uh, hop in here, pause everything, and then just kind of delete everything. OK. So I'm going to have to pull in data from each of the batteries. So that'll be. Interesting. Um, can I pull them in as a batch? So I can just look at all the batteries all at once since they're all the same thing. Um, you know, I probably should have led, left this in here. It's that way. so I can remember how all this stuff works. Um, OK, so this obviously is not going to be a DB because this isn't going to be plugged into anything. OK, so then we're going to have to do uh, centrifuge. OK, so then this is going to be our generator. And that's going to be D0. And then we're going to have I mean, I've got I've got ports. I've got six ports, right? So I can pull in at least let's see, battery one, and that's going to go into D one. Battery two, D two. Battery three, D three. Battery four, D four. Okay. Uh, and I want to keep all this stuff in here so I can remember what all of these things are supposed to be. Um, okay, so then I have to look up what's in the battery. So let's uh, just confirm this for now. Okay, so station battery, and then what are our options here? We can read write to lock on. Okay, but we can read charge. Now, what does charge come out as? Um, So we have charge, we have power actual. Now, does that mean that it is charging, or and we have power potential versus power actual? Um, OK. I'm assuming we're going to need, I mean, I don't, I don't understand what these things are. How much energy potentially provides, how much it's actually using, OK. 
<clears throat> I don't really care about that too much. Current charge the device has. It doesn't tell me if that's going to be like a, like a percentage or I, I don't know. But I think we want to read charge. So we have to find total charge. Okay, so then if we go into here, um, let's see, we're going to do alias total charge. Um, and that'll be just R0, I guess. Okay, and then we have to figure out a percentage of charge. Um, so that means that I need to figure out what the maximum these things have or can have, because I have to figure out a percentage there. So um, let's see. Maximum, maximum setting of the device. I don't. Forty-one minutes in the video. Um, I suppose I have time to look up some stuff real quick. Uh, station years, station battery. We'll see if uh, the wiki gives me any additional information. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so here we go. So power X, so maximum charge of the battery in watts per tick, or watt tick. I said being, it's like one hour, it's just watt tick. Um, returns the maximum charge of the battery in watt tick. Returns the current charge of the battery in watt tick. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so power potential is how much it could potentially put out. Power actual is how much it's actually putting out. Um, okay. So let me let me see if I can figure this out here. Okay, so we're gonna need to figure out what the total maximum is. Alias total maximum. That's gonna be R one. Okay. So um, now I got to figure out how to add. <laughs> uh, okay, is that going to be in here? Add. No. Okay, so it's not in there. Function maybe. Add. Add to R zero. This one and this one. Okay. So let me see if I can get this right then. So we're going to add to R0. And then because we want to add R0 to everything else, we're going to do this and uh, D1. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Um, So, you know, if I wanted to pull, I understand that you guys don't like it when I compare this to other programming languages, but it's kind of the only way that I can try to get myself to understand this, but. <clears throat> so like if D1 has a bunch of other things that fall under it, like let's say, you know, total wattage, whatever, um, then I could do like D1 dot total wattage or whatever, and then it would look at D1 and then pull the value from that particular one. But I don't know if this can do that. In fact, I'm pretty sure it probably can't. So does that mean that I need to make another register and then fill the register with D1? I mean, uh, yeah, I think that's probably is what's gonna have to happen here. Um, I 
unless I can do D1. No, I don't think that's going to work. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. So then we're going to need to make another one of these things. Uh, this is going to be bat one max. Um, and that's going to pull from, well, no, that's just going to have to be, wait, wait, hang on. Hmm. Okay, so centrifuge, throttle into throttle. Okay, so I'm looking at this and trying to figure out, okay, so the S is set, right? Or save, set or save. And then we're taking the centrifuge throttle and putting it into throttle. And then here we're taking the centrifuge combustion limiter. Okay, so can I do battery one maximum? Can I do it like that? Is that gonna work? I have no idea. And it's not gonna tell me if I have an error or not either, so that's fun. Uh, add R0, R0, uh, battery 2, maximum. I'm just guessing that this is how this is supposed to be done. I could be completely wrong and this just won't work. Battery 3, maximum. Add R0 to R0. Taking in battery fours, maximum. Okay, so now with that, we should have R0 equaling the full max of everything. Okay. Now we have to do the total charge of this as well, because then we have to do math. Um, wait, no, this is total charge, not maximum. Um, okay, so charge. Charge, charge, and charge. And then I gotta do the same thing. R is one, R one, battery one, maximum. And then can I copy this and just paste it? I can. Good. So I'll do that again, do that again. This will just be battery two. Battery three, battery four. Okay, so now I can figure out percentages, right? Um, and then we're gonna have to do it's not gonna let me do it like that. Um, So min as R2 or minimum percentage. I'm trying to put these things in here in a way that I can understand. Uh, maximum percentage percentage R3. Okay, so now I have that. Now I need to set I need to make it a number, right? So set, no, nope, can't do that one. Uh, set, no, that's not it. I could do add to R2. And I'll just add it to itself and then just put in a number. Um, that's going to be 15%, so I don't know if that's going to be the way that that works or not. Um, and this is going to be R3, R3, 85. I mean, that should work. It should throw that into there, into here. I mean, is there another way to just, like, define that? Set, save, um, move? Move. Probably move, right? 
So if I do that, so if we move R2 to 15 and we move R3 to 85, should work. Okay, so now this thing is going to have to be constantly uh, checking itself. So that's going to have to be after we start our little main loop here. So main is going to have to go here. And then I'm going to delete all of this against my probably better judgment. And then this will be jump back to main. And then I could put in a sleep in there, right? Sleep for five seconds. So it only check every five seconds or so. So it's not constantly going crazy. I don't think that really matters too much. Um, All right, so now we have to do math. Um, but first, we need to take all of this, and this needs to. Uh, we're going to have to reset. So we're going to have to move our zero. Can we move that thing to zero? I don't know. If it lets me do it, I'm going to assume that I can do it. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep, we're going to add up the charge each time. So we get, you know, wait, did I already delete that one? I did. Okay. So we get, you know, fresh numbers every time. So that's got to go. Um, all right. And then uh, yeah, we'll cut that out as well. Throw that into there. Okay. Okay, so we have our maximum here, so that's just going to be set. Um, and I don't know what this is supposed to be, which is why it's just, you know, in there. Um, and then let's see, does this give me any information about... Uh, nope. Oh. Its energy storage is 3.6 million joules, or one kilowatt hour, what? Okay, so now I need to figure out what kind of values these things have in there. So we're gonna confirm this for now. Um, and then I need to go into this thing put in my configuration, and then we need to take a look at what this thing is telling me it's got. Okay, so maximum is, okay, so it's in joules, okay. So then that would be easy enough if I have four batteries, right? And then charge is what's in there currently, okay. That's kind of what I need, all right, so that's, working, I guess. So if I know what this is supposed to be, then uh, I don't need to go with all of this adding and stuff, because, um, okay, so then this is going to be move r1, and then 3.6 million times four is 12144. Something like that. Uh, let me actually check that real quick. Okay, so 3,600, 3.6 million times four is, yeah, 14.4, okay. Wow, I didn't think my math was that good this early in the morning. Okay, so if we have that, then we're gonna get the current charge each time. So we're moving our, um, this thing, whatever, Wait, no, I can just, can I just put like total charge in here? 
I mean, that was kind of the point of doing this thing, right? Otherwise, it's just like, okay. Um, but then I would have to put total charge, total charge, which is just a waste of space here. So, um, and then can I do this afterwards? Okay, yeah. Total charge equals R0. Little note, it's how that you know, correlates all in my brain. Okay, so now um, we need to do math. So uh, we need to figure out the current percentage in here. And that would be like divide or something. Like would that even, how? Like do I have a current, total maximum, total charge, current percentage is what I need. Okay. Um, alias current percentage. That'll be R4. Okay. Um, do I have divide? I do. So divide and we're going to store that into this here and then we're going to divide this by that. So A by that, okay. Okay, so then that is charge. Okay, so then div R4, and that's gonna be current charge over total charge. Wait, no, this has to be current charge. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait, what? No, current charge. Current charge. Okay, then that'll get us our current charge. Okay. And then we have our maximum charge, which I could just rename this thing, right? Uh, maximum charge. And then we have our maximum charge. Uh, I can just put this in here, I suppose. Maximum charge, uh, min percentage, max percentage. Okay. So that's all well and good. Okay, so now this we're going to divide, um, and then current percentage, percentage, and then a has to be our current charge by our total charge, or maximum charge. Okay. So now I gotta figure out how that's gonna calculate out. So let's say I have three million, right? And we are going to divide that by 14,400. There we go. So that'll give us 0.2. Okay, so that will give us a decimal. Okay, so then I have to, wait, is there a percentage thing in here? Percentage, probably not, right? No. Okay, so then product. I mean, that's what it's officially called for multiplication, right? Product, nothing, okay. Uh, multiply. Okay, why is it typing in here? I don't want you to type in there, dude. I want you to type into here. Nothing in there either. Okay, so what, sir? Why are you moving things when I don't want you to? Okay, let's just get rid of this. It's fine. See, like, why? Okay, so when I hit delete, it's... If I'm, okay, if I'm typing in here, it should not affect anything down here. Okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, so we have pi, we have degree to rad, radians, radians to degrees. Um, absolutes, don't care about absolutes. Add alias, uh, and, don't care about and, a sine, a tan, a tan two. Um, 
And we have a bunch of branches in here. That's cool. Mull. Okay, so apparently mull is for multiply. Okay. Um, so then we're going to mull uh, current percentage. And of course it doesn't auto fill these things, so I gotta do it myself. Okay. Uh, current percentage, and we're going to multiply it by 100. So that gives us our percentage um, of charge in the batteries. And then that's going to give us a decimal. And then we change that, multiply by 100, which we can then compare against these things. OK, so um, branch if less than. Um, and then uh, we want to. How does, why do we have three things in here? Um, BLT. Okay, I did, when I hit enter, I don't want you to enter in the, it's fine, it's fine. Branch to line C if A is less than B. Okay. Okay, so branch to line C if A is less than B. So that's going to be current percentage is less than the min percentage. We want to go to um, generator on. And then we'll put that down here, generator on. And we'll also have a generator off. Okay, and then we'll do a branch if greater than current percentage, max percentage, uh, generator off. And then at the end of this, we want to jump back to main. Same thing with this one which is kind of already there. Um, and then at the end of this, if it is somewhere in the middle, we don't want to change anything. So from here, we're just going to jump back to main. So if it reaches here, if it is less than our percentage, it'll skip over this line and this line and go to here. And then if it isn't, doesn't fulfill this one, it'll go to this one. And then if it does fulfill this one, it'll skip this line, this line, this line, and go to here, and then fulfill all this stuff. And then if it doesn't fulfill either of these, it'll just jump back and sleep for five ticks or whatever and try it again. Okay. So we need to set um, generator. Uh, and then I need the, what is that? Uh, let me type this in, generator, solid generator. Uh, bu 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 I need to know the things here. Cool, charcoal, you're not actually helping me out here. Okay, um, let's go in here then, generator, solid fuel, good to go. Um, there we go. Okay, so we have on. Okay, I think that's what I need. It's just on. Easy enough. Okay. So generator on one, I think. And then set generator on to 
zero. I think that's it. A lot of work to do all of this, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so um, now we get to see if it'll actually work, so that'll be fun. Um, oh, and I need to make sure this is pulling off of the right thing, too. Okay, so. So we're setting all of these things, which means that I need to set all the pins outside of here. Uh, and then this thing needs to be... Okay, so this is reading from some IC housing. Okay, good. So it is reading from that one, I believe. Yeah, it should be. Okay, and then you can go back to having your atmospheric analyzer in there. Thank you for your service. All right. Um, so that will go into there. Um, we will just export it for now. And then we'll, I don't know, go and check it out. See what kind of errors we have on there. Um, apparently there aren't any errors. That doesn't seem right. Okay, so D0 is our generator, and we have our battery, station battery. Uh, I need to rename these things. Okay, so you will cannot interact, oh right, station battery one, confirm. Station battery, oopsies. Station battery two, confirm. Station battery three, confirm. Station battery four, confirm. Okay, so that'll be good. Now, when I set this thing, it should be more specific instead of just saying station battery. Okay, so there we go. Station battery three, see? Um, so one, station battery two, station battery three, station battery four. There we go. And that one is not used. Okay. So um, I have no idea if this is working right now. But I mean, it's not telling me that anything is wrong, so does that mean that it's working? I have no idea. I mean, would it tell me if something was wrong in the first place? Probably not. Okay, so do I just assume that it's good and that it's working? And it seems like not a very smart thing to do, but I mean, it's turned off, I suppose. Um, I suppose the only way that I could check that is to see if that thing turns on. Because, I mean, this isn't telling me that anything is wrong, so I don't even know if it would tell me if anything was wrong. And then, I mean, the light on in there is green, which means that it's reading all of the stuff, right? I mean, if there was something wrong in there, wouldn't it, like, throw up an error? I have no idea. Um, I suppose what I can do is just uh, drain out the battery, and we're probably way over an hour right now. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we're at an hour and nine minutes. So if I turn on the nitrolyzer again, that will cause us to drain the batteries quickly, and then I can see if that thing turns on. 
And if it does, it works. If it doesn't, then I guess we're, I don't know. Got to figure something else out. All right, and then so long as we're up here, how are you doing? Have you gone through everything? Just about. What are we at? 425, yeah, you can still run for a little while, so that's fine. Um, do, do, do. All right, so I think that's where it needs to be. I could be completely wrong, though. Okay, so we just made it through our medium filter. Good to go. that into our list of stuff we have eight so it's eight times all of that stuff so that's what like half half a gram of constantin um, two and a half grams of silver and then what five and a half grams of iron in there right now okay so now it's saying I need to drink something all right and it is 9 a.m., which means that this video needs to go out quickly. Uh, nope, that is not what I wanted to hit. You go there. Open. Good. Okay. Good. And we have an empty can. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. So um, I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and we'll see if it actually... Uh, works as intended um if not i'll need to i don't know figure out what's wrong with the code but i mean it's not giving me any errors i guess so i mean if it did this thing would be yellow right but it's green so that means it's working maybe i don't know anyways uh that's gonna be all i have for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did hope you'll join me for the next one but until then have a good one